I will make, I have made some small, slight changes in the PPT after the, what, what I gave to you. I will run my PPT from here. I will share. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, Sundar. Good morning, Manendra. Sitara, welcome to all to its Zoom meeting. Today's topic is WMS Workshop Manufacturing Suspense Account. And the speaker is Sri V. Raga Rao, senior AFK retired, presently faculty at Irithim Sikandrabad. A brief introduction of Sri Raga Rao. Mr. Raga Rao has quite a varied experience in stores and workshop matters, having been the same MNB for several years before. We are indeed fortunate to have a chance experience on workshop manufacturing suspense at all. This is a very important topic from the examination point of view. And generally, the question appears either as a soft question or as a full mark question. So, all the participants will be benefited, I hope, from this lecture. Thank you. Over to Mr. Rana Rao. Thank you, Sundar. Good morning, all of you. Am I audible to all of you, please? Please respond. Good morning, sir. Please, sir, you are audible, sir. You are audible, sir. Yes, sir, you are audible. Thank you. I will commence this session uh, because, uh, because of this, normally when I make PTs, uh, I used to give only the headlines previously when we are having direct classes. Raghav Rao sir, send me all the audio, all the people's audio. I think uh, I am getting audio for everybody. Yeah, we will, shall we mute it for some time? Then in the last 10 minutes we can unmute them. Okay, fine. Right. Please unmute your audio, sir. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. So, good morning, friends. All of you, please uh, have this. Uh, I have made this presentation in such a way that uh, it is. Uh, examination point of view and what are the various aspects related to operation of workshop manufacturing the suspense account. Before I go to these uh, slides, uh, a little bit uh, think these slides are there, I made this. There are two things available for, from the examination point of view. One is work order system and then workshop manufacturing suspense account and the review of how to review the workshop manufacturing suspense account. And also, the cost comparison of activities, there are the, I made some package like this from the, from the examination point of view. I think uh, this is uh, made in such a way that covering the financial implications different to workshops management. The, 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 uh, the near railways have an obligation to maintain their rolling stock in a good conditions in such a way that the population of rolling stock has to be kept in an optimum way, in such a way that it has to be maintained also. So in such a way it has to be maintained both for the purpose of earnings and also having financial implications that we have to have the number in control because infrastructure expenditure is used in Indian Railways. And if you see the population of the rolling stock of Indian Railways, there are about uh, 12,600 electric locos are there, both electric locos and diesel locos. 
and that was 92,000 passenger passenger cars are there. That is passenger coaching vehicles, including other coaching vehicles. That are about 92,000 are there. About 2.2.92 lakh freight cars that are wagons. This is the the importance of having the rolling stock in our system for carrying our the entire uh, volume of our transport business. In terms of our so commodity transport business, we have a huge responsibility. We do have targets up to reaching to 1.2 billion tons. 1.2 billion tons. This year, of course, these days uh, because of the pandemic, we have got less traffic. But actually, about 30 to 40 thousand crores, we could not add into non-movement of coaching services, the transport uh, uh, passenger services in our. System. But however, however, we do have a responsibility to maintain these assets, these rolling stock assets. Right? The primary responsibility of maintenance of these assets is the head of the department, his principal, chief mechanical engineer, ECME, and mechanical department is taking care of its maintenance of rolling stock and uh, other equipment. The department exercises control of one or more workshops. There may be one or more workshops. the jana railway have two or three uh, coaching workshops wagon workshops and also local sheds low power workshop combining two or three jana uh, railways we have a system based on the logistics made available for the maintenance the railway board decides the directorate mechanical directorate decides to have the, the logistics with reference to establishment of various workshops the maintenance When it comes to maintenance, the corrective maintenance and the preventive maintenance. The corrective maintenance means run entirely, entirely volume of assets in the system and attend to them whenever there is a breakdown. Thus, availability of those rolling stock will be reduced. But however, reliability of that is is in question. So, at the cost of reliability, this corrective kind of maintenance can be done. But in the case of preventive maintenance. At the uh, cost of availability, because we will be keeping some of the items, some of the rolling stock in our workshops, but they need a periodical overhauling, which is a preventive breakdown maintenance, which is a an important activity held by us. It involves huge expenditure. It involves huge expenditure. So Indian Railways have taken a balance that for both online maintenance and offline maintenance in such a way. we also keep the assets in our workshops to maintain to to the fullest life and to achieve the modern life and maintain them in a perfect way and also not to incur any cascading expenditure with reference to breakdown maintenance so if you in the what the purpose of this what the purpose of incurring the expenditure in a huge amount we do have to have tools to contain the expenditure those tools normally in accounting Terminology we use for workshop manufacturing suspense account. But however, before going to that, we will just uh, touch upon the activities and functions at various authorities by various authorities. Here, the maintenance of assets, all the specifications, design, and also to establish the life cycle, the modern life and all those things, is the responsibility and the function of the railway board, the RDSO, or the uh, Uh, organization with reference to have these life cycle basis rolling stock models designs designs and the manufacturing is done by the manufacturing production units of various of our general railways we do have dlw dmw icf now we are in icf we are making lhb which is now or safe model icf model circuit come so production units are there to manufacture the these rolling stock And in the case of maintenance of maintenance expenditure, periodical major bore hauls and midlife rehab reviews, this involves revenue expenditure. This dealt by general daily workshops and midlife uh, midlife rehab rehabilitation workshops. We have kept various places. And top bore hauls and minor schedules, intermediate revenue schedules, dealt by the online maintenance, the various. Workshops is in the divisional working 
we will be seeing on these expenditures uh, divided, divided by the divisions in the revenue demands, carriage and wagon depots, carriage depots, wagon depots, where the expenditure is spent from the ordinary revenue and budgeted through the revenue divisions, divisional budget. The cleaning, offering up of supplies, yard or an examination also part of the online maintenance which is otherwise known as expenditure met from the divisions. There the locomotives of the carriage and wagon depots, fuel packs, power station depots, they will be taking care of this function. It is broadly, it is about the activities and functions held at the workshop. I am just providing a, a small wagon workshop layout. Just, just looking at the in gate to out gate. In gate to out gate. You see the in gate to out gate. Just look at the wagon comes in. Wagon comes and moves from in gate to out gate involving various activities. It goes to stripping shop, then it goes to body shop, then oh, the wheel turning takes place from the wheel shop, then bogies and wheel sets are taken out, and then it goes to oh, the, the assembly shop to get assembled, and goes to paint shop and goes out of the Workshop. This entire, entire uh, this activity is uh, treated as is time treated as down time of the rolling stop. Down time of the rolling stop. For example, if the down time of the rolling stop for preventive maintenance activities is kept at a minimum level, thereby the investment on infrastructure can be regulated in such a way. Previously, when we don't have uh, some kind of practices, uh, we were having the time, downtime up to 30 days, on average 30 days we are keeping up the our back, uh, rolling stock, including carriages and wagons. Now, uh, slowly and slowly by using various models and by re-engineering techniques, also various aspects and also we also have a system of uh, um, uh, unit exchange space, thereby slowly we are also trying to achieve the, the minimum holding time on average for both for coach shops and our wagon shops between 11 days to 18 days, thereby the availability of the rolling stock is more for the purpose of earning and also having financial implications but not providing the additional money on the So and for the, uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, additional number and uh, population additional number. If you see the workshop maintenance activities, the objectives of a general railway workshop where we operate this workshop manufacturing systems account undertakes repairs and maintenance of various kinds of rolling stock on periodical maintenance and also they manufacture some components, various spares, and at the, at the some in case of any accident, met coaching uh, and the wagons, the building activities, rebuilding, then rehabilitation of those uh, activities takes place. Then other deposit works for the wagons, for the rolling stock owned by the other departments or private bodies or corporates is also undertaken. Then some kind of works related to the services dealt for the divisions, online divisions also offer some of the services to workshops and these are the broadly the various activities of a workshop. It means undertaking repairs and maintenance periodical model and manufacturing of components and rebuilding and re-existing the, uh, the uh, rolling stock, undertaking repairs for the, deposit, uh, for the private bodies and the corporate departments on deposit terms, undertaking the parts to repair works for the divisions and other units available in the general railway. These are the workshop maintenance activities. Normally, if you see the authorities of the general railway workshops, you have the CME is the principal head and the chief workshop engineer is responsible for the budgetary controls of all the workshops in the general railway. Then chief motive power engineer is assess technical control over the maintenance of diesel locomotives and chief rolling stock engineer 
is responsible. This exercise is technically controlled by the coaching depots and bike depots and also carriage and wagon activities, the arts and outstations, depending upon the level of freight and passenger movement. So, these are the various authorities, functional authorities who are involved in the maintenance of these workshop and general daily workshop organization at, at SAG level you will see. Chief Planning Engineer, CME Planning, we call him, assist the CME in all matters pertaining to investment planning. That is, rolling stock, rolling stock program and event program is dealt by this particular player authority, which made the major expenditure takes place. Now, the expenditure segment of demand number 84 is there now. Previously, we used to have demand number 60. The important plan heads are 21 head rolling stock, 4100 MNP and 4200 workshops and production units where we have to have the, the investments with reference to infrastructure. If you see the, the workshop organization, the workshop organization having the chief, is chief workshop manager, he is the, under the administrative wing, we have a production engineer, he is the J grade officer, also known as uh, 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 production engineer or works manager. He is a works manager. He, he, he takes care of entire planning and production control activities. Or he organizes such a way. He is assisted by the personal officer responsible for matter related establishments, chemists and metallurgists with reference to metals and with reference to the quality control of the metals that are used in workshops shop superintendent SSCs and assisted by the departments, departments like workshop accounts, stores officers and all artisan staff related to the workshop activities broadly about the workshop activities. The responsibility of the workshop accounts officer is an important thing. He is responsible, he has to render financial advice advice to the CW, chief workshop manager on all financial matters with regard to various proposals and budgeting and budgeting also. However, WV is administratively under the control of FNCO. He is responsible for accounting, costing and activities and reporting to the management for managerial information and corrective action. He renders assistance for material requirements along with the stores organization for ensuring the, the continuing of activities as the target fixed for the outcome. Render assistance for proper manpower planning. This is important here every time the of accounts office to ensure that whenever expansion proposals or contraction proposals, whenever modernization takes place, he ensures that manpower deployed is in accordance with the requirement and uh, achieve the cost control on account of the labor cost. So all of the accounts of the accounts officer is vital. And why we is vital because he needs tools also to contain the expenditure. He has to deal with the budgetary reviews. And also you need to have an expenditure control to a tool, to a tool known as workshop manufacturing suspense account. If you see the, how the expenditure gets regarded, I just give you a small flowchart. Labor first is important elements of expenditure. You see, in the uh, for the purpose of a control, we have to analyze the expenditure in terms of elements. Element wise costs are known as labor cost, material cost, and on cost. On cost means indirect expenditure. The labor cost, the expenditure of labor is collected through labor pay sheets and by operation of labor suspense, the case of payments made by the workshop in the subsequent month. Now, in Indian Railways, uh, we have a, previously we used to make the cash payments in the subsequent month because artisan staff have paid based on the actual attendance, unlike us. So, based on the actual that means we have to incur the expenditure related to their wages the following month. Thereby, we have to operate a labor suspense and bring that expenditure relating to the outer of the shops. For example, I am paying the March month salaries before 10th of the April, based on the attendance collected to 31st March. So, cash the, the payment uh, debit will be in the labor suspense in the subsequent. I have to bring it to the Workshop manufacturing suspense account by the labor suspense JV and bring it to this month's outturn. So we have to necessarily relate it to the outturn pertaining to that particular month. That is the purpose of operation of a labor suspense. However, nowadays, of course, because of the IT utilities, I pass and all, 
we are relating the outer in such a way that we need not operate on this class. But however, this is, this, is a, this is available. This is available for operation of labor suspense. The material drawn class, almost all workshops, almost workshops, attached stores deposit depots are made available for continuous issue of materials to the shop activities. So this happens because all items get stopped, important items related to the VOH operations and the activities that are related to the shop manufacturing. These things are drawn from the available attached stores depot and automatically whenever they draw material to the activities, the material component is taken into the account. That is how the expenditure get collected to the workshop manufacturing suspense account. Similarly, the items purchased through non-stop, purchased through non-stop items that are drawn, that are non-stop items are purchased by the respective officers, respective mechanical officers based on the grant available under that. So, if they are related to a particular activity, that particular work order becomes a debit for the non-stop expenditure that is incurred. Non-stock expenditure is for the items which we occasionally buy whenever required. But the stock items are those items which are available in the attached stores, 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 stores depot for the purpose of continuity of the operations. Because the stocking of material is important for Indian railways to avail the advantage of bulk purchase and also not hinder the continuous of activities because we cannot stop the activities, we cannot stop the transportation, so it has to be necessarily continuously provided. That is the importance of the material component of the part of regarding the expenditure. Similarly, other expenses like payments, uh, for the purpose of contractual payments, nowadays many of the items, non-core activities for outsourcing for the purpose of uh, cost cutting the activities. We cannot have the non-core activities incur a huge amount of uh, cost on, uh, so there we are outsourcing those activities to avoid some kind of cost cutting. Then electricity, water, sanitation, which are indirect expenses which are commonly used on all the activities are known as direct expenditure, otherwise known as on-cost charges. We collect these on-cost charges as a breed, uh, for the previous period create standing work order on cost work orders and collects the expenditure. We assess this expenditure each item against each shop and against the direct labor of each shop and we relate and we provide a, a predetermined percentage on cost percentage of the previous six months or maybe previous year and we create a on cost budget, predetermined percentages on cost budget but levying on the operations in the subsequent periods. So that means levying the on cost the work orders becomes very easy and also you will have you have facility to complete that work in no time. Once the labor cost and material cost is absorbed to the work activity based work orders, automatically the indirect expenditure gets charged to the that is how the expenditure is collected through the work orders. Then, the, after collecting, let us look at what is a work order. The initial record to collect the expenditure and to be divided is a work order. What this, this enables, what is a work order? Work order is an authority to commence work in a workshop. I will explain in detail. I will come to you very quickly. But I will just give you activity based cost. Arriving at activity based cost, what is the system available? First, basically, at grassroots level, each activity is identified with a work order. The initial record to correct the expenditure activity weight a work order is available. This work order enables collection of expenditure like this element wise that is labor, material and all cost. This enables cost control. Since once we have this activity wise collection of expenditure for against this work order, we have a facility of Comparing the previous period's expenditure to this period, 
And what is happening? What is happening that why the material draw to the material draw to the activity is more? This may happen also because age come condition of the rolling stock now comes for the maintenance activity different apply. For example, even a latest version of uh, uh, new new coaches have come for the bed. Next, uh, then normally the component part that take into the uh, maintenance may be less. In the case of age old or uh, little advanced age rolling stock, there may be component replacement may be more. There may be these, you know, these, these things can be broadly can be identified and can be compared and can be see that the expenditure is justified for that particular activity. So what are the names that way? So all work orders which we collect the expenditure, all of us know that we close the accounts monthly and also annually. The monthly when we close the account similarly, the work orders are closed monthly and we summarize them in what is known as workshop general register. So this workshop general register workshop, work orders are issued by the production control organization. Workshop general register is maintained in the accounts office itself. We have to maintain this. It's the part of the role of the accounts office. So from the workshop general register, Shop wise, shop wise order analysis we take and we prepare based on the every month, based on the expenditure collected in the work orders for each activity. Each activity can be related to a particular allocation also. So, with that activity, we prepare outturn statements. We prepare outturn statements. So, the, the responsibility of the workshop accounts officer is to see that a workshop general work orders are reviewed. Workshop general register is posted. From the workshop general register, the outturn statements are prepared. Outturn statements are prepared. They are known as part one outturn statement and part two outturn statement. The purpose of part one and part two out statements, I will further detail. I will. This is the importance of the work order system. So I just gave you a detailed narr narration about the work orders. Please read this. This is for the purpose of the examination. Jobs undertaken in a workshop are based on a work order and should have proper authority. When a work order is issued, it, there should be an authority and there must be planning for that and funds are made available for that. These are all the important aspects. The expenditure incurred by various shops, the departments, distributed under a system of work orders. Okay. Am I audible to all of you? Please respond. Please respond. Am I audible? Anyone of you? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, because I want to check because there may be some kind of network problems. Fine. So, this expenditure incurred by various shops and departments is reviewed under a system of work orders because every time we usually gave work order for the activity, maybe a country secretary, maybe a store's manufacturing activity, Maybe a rebuilding and rehabilitation activity which is met from the and it uh, met from the capital uh, um, uh, which is met from the capital expenditure and demand capital segment of the demand now 84 demand by 84 today this, this, uh, after com after uh, combining the railway bridge budget the budget but still this kind of facility is available and this record system which we have today. We, we, it has this elasticity, it has this elasticity. The work orders are processed by normally production control organization and the, with the knowledge of work of accounts officer is not the same addition. And infrastructure of each shop or how that is fixed for the shop based on the, the population requirement of the railway zone railway zone and the soil and match to ensure that shop out there now is achieved to the optimum capacity. The purpose of having an understanding this the and introduction of a product system is to ensure that at any point of time, at any point of time, the entire capacity of the work shop has to be achieved. Now, now we may say, what is the capacity of the workshop? So previously, we used to have the manpower ratios. The manpower ratios normally suggest the capacity of the workshop. Now, with the uh, outsourcing of works for the manpower, the capacity workshop can be 
can be defined upward also can be you can take that number of such facility such as the facility so normally when the products are issued some guidelines are given these guidelines are my computer hard has to issue work order towards employees of the government department whenever you take up a work the performance cost has to be levied for the work some taken from the other departments take it should be should be seen that the funds are deposited in advance and necessarily whenever we take up such kind of work and it was there is a estimate a detailed estimate made in advance and such kind of asset printing has to be properly monitored in the detailed estimate similarly the important the important secret of our order system is its elasticity so it should match with the existing revenue accounts classification so here that means i my activity which is there even if you see the our revenue accounts classification the the repairs and maintenance chunk of expenditure demands extra demands i'm speaking demand for the base maintenance of pv and works demand by the base maintenance of motor the power demand number 6 the base maintenance of carriage and wagons demand number 7 the base maintenance of plant and equipment if you see the structure of this expenditure repairs and maintenance structure expenditure for the purpose of maintenance is it is related to activities thereby our work order is also related to the activities but sometimes we fail to understand the expenditure collected like uh, for each asset each vehicle maybe each logo maybe each carriage maybe each wagon so, so that is not available today but however we can enhance this the last is your work that is work order system today available which is the eight digit code it can take by enhancing the digits linking to the asset collecting the expenditure to the respective asset also so that elasticity is possible thereby the work order system and revenue accounts classification and the code we follow a digit code we follow which is related to the uh, activities is can be done it can, this has that kind of facility so today we follow the revenue standing work orders and various work orders we use can be further can be further given to the asset wise also asset wise facility can also be mailed by the system existing or order system and also revised accounts classification of code also classification of expenditure also enables this elasticity thereby there is no issue as such so we can identify the expenditure before i go into that we will see the kinds of work orders direct work orders and direct work orders job orders Direct work orders are to identified with the activity that tend to close and completion of work on completion of tasks only, and then for the cost control purposes, direct work orders are nothing but on cost work orders. We collect the expenditure for fixing the predetermined percentage. Job orders are job work orders are nothing but wherever we feel that we have to test this activity through a job costing system. A job costing system is a some kind of a system which enables to identify. that whether the uh, purpose of giving this work order is justified the purpose of make or buy decisions that the components may be available or make and buy decisions we have to hold the market prices thereby a workshops manufacture these items thereby market rates also get calculated so this is known as job order system i just gave you the eight digit code analysis this please go through this um, uh slide up after taking the copy of this so it gives first digit what it represents second digit represents division uh, department third digit represents digit of the year both like that this gives the the order numbering and it linked to the division and it can be further linked to the asset also in future if you want to have coach wise cost logo wise cost wagon wise cost or rate wise cost that can be So our current system available today has that elasticity. So not to worry that way we can go ahead for that. So based on the it can provide the analysis of expenditure. So the wages, material, component, the on cost. So we can have since this our current system is available, the managers who draw the material, who incur the labor costs, they have some kind of check worth on themselves. So in a shop wise. 
work out in Alasi shop wise, paint shop, smithy shop, wheel shop, sorry wheel turning, wheel turning is a continuous activity because we can fix the targeted wheel turning for the wheel shop, the number of wheels we carry against the wheel lane, we can have a very uh, good control on the expenditure put on labor, the labor cost, similarly the material component that we use and <coughs> other expenditures. Also it provides this analysis of expenditure and release work order system. So now how I will give you a little brief how this labor cost is put to work orders. We may say I just so far I told the work orders are can be identified with the cost of labor, material and all costs. How it is booked and just just little work back and see. Now activities identified with each work order so that thereby the time worked by workers, all categories, skilled, semi skilled, highly skilled, anybody for that matter. The time sheets are there to know the time spent by workers on each work. So, number of hours available for the job into average of the day becomes the basis for charge of the labor cost to the work order. Means, minutely, we are going to the time spent by the workers at average hour. The average hour rate is nothing but the previous three months actual total wages divided by the number of hours of attendance available in the previous three months. Thereby, we have fairly a very accurate labor cost charge to the upper workers. Cost worked out by multiplying average hourly rate to the number of hours and form the basis for the labor time cost. Okay? That becomes labor cost. Then normally what is to be seen generally in an accounts office to ensure that everything is most right. Please check it to see by the time office that the GA hours are totally put to the work orders at the time work in case any variation between the total hours available made, available as per the GA card and also time spent on the job is tally. In the case of difference one time to work orders, that means all right, nothing but ideal time. The analysis has to be seen. So that in the, uh, 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 ideal time for want of some kind of a thing is not a tolerable issue. So it should be analyzed to see that it is only the, the normal ideal time. So generally it is uh, for the that should be seen. Further, in every incentive system is, is there. Normally in almost the workshop we have two kinds of incentive system. That is CLW pattern. Also the rights group incentive pattern, the individual model pattern and also group incentive. But both are both are viable, both are workable. But however, for the purpose of having a big institution, both the employer and employee get benefited by the system. The group in system system is more useful because modernized system workshops, so many things are happening. But as a team, as a group, the productivity is more controllable and also more accurate and there are no extravagancies in the system, thereby the incentive. The, now look at the uh, material cost. The material cost is good. Well, normally, the material drawn from the stores directly based on the the stores recognition commission note is a common document. We take material workshop notices from the university, take draw the material from the attached papers. So in the work order itself, they write the technical. That is allegation. So they write automatically when the material is drawn, it is that particular activity and taken is that. Similarly, for non stock items also, the non stock items for the activity which they purchase that such a becomes a charge in the case of uh, 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 components, small components, small items which we draw, sometimes we have to analyze to see that uh, items of the capital space which are drawn through these positions are so directly charged do not become a duplicate charge. So, so this material cost to work orders is ensured to see that uh, that a proper charge of the respective material drawn consumed on the activity. So, literal check is that you see these two monthly summaries against that activity. If there is an abnormal draw of material to the shop floor, it should be pointed out. It should be pointed out by the associate accounts officer. Similarly, 
there must be a concordance. Then, for example, he will shop is there. The wheel turning, he cannot draw the material required for the paint shop activities. Like that, we have to ensure that there is no abnormality in drawing the material in each shop. So, so material cost can be controlled by this order system and restricting the shop floor tracks based on the consumption. Consumption pertaining to that required shop. Consumption, the paint shop will not draw only paint or anything else. You cannot draw pieces. So like that, there must be checks and balances for the material cost of the work orders. Similarly, on cost work orders, on cost work orders, the expenditure incurred on the activities can be analyzed by labor on cost and material cost. So on cost, though it is an on cost, but it can be further analyzed into labor and material cost. So wherever expenditure not directly to the works, we still does on cost. There are three kinds of on cost that are available. Shop on cost, general on cost, or on cost. Shop on cost and general on cost together, no hardness, works on cost, or are aware, even the expenditure is through WMS account. Whereas the proper on cost is nothing but general administrative charges where the expenditure not not booked through WMS, which is otherwise incurred in the revenue demands. Here we have to collect separately a portion of that administrative uh, cost is known as proforma on cost. So accordingly, on cost is also put to the work orders. It should be the point. And most underlying point is that the on cost percentages what we do and what we fix annually or six monthly as per the requirement of that particular workshops, they should be as accurate as possible. There should not be abnormal uh, variations, abnormal inflations of the on cost expenditure. Thereby, there should not be undercharge of the jobs. This is an important aspect seen by the workshop. Here, for the purpose of this, I am bringing you the activities and the work order number, how a periodical work order number, diesel level, see, 331, 531, diesel level, see, 341, intermediate work and then special work C D C D51, diesel level, and C D drive 51 like that, each activity is related to the workshop, what order this is for the is, is available in the mechanical code, you can read so that is how this is only for the purpose of showing you that each allocation is linked to your activity, the activity is nothing but a work order, so please remember this, this is that is why the purpose of this is to, is to ensure that there is a control over expenditure mechanism available to work order system. Why we are telling work order system enables control over expenditure mechanism, control over expenditure element device for all the activities dealt in a workshop that is the purpose of doing this. So please understand that. Similarly, there are some components that stores people will be asking the workshop authorities to for their stocking purpose, for their regular usage. For example, a brake a block is there. And of course, we are, nowadays we are not manufacturing these brake blocks. We are taking from the trade. But previously we were manufacturing these brake blocks in our workshops. And we used to give a work order and manufacture in these items. Maybe work orders, maybe some, some components. Today we are manufacturing bogey frames. We are manufacturing springs. Now, oh, right, bogey karmagar is there. They are manufacturing only outer frame of the bogey. So, they, the, the stores department, for their issue for the operations, for online and also with operations, they intend to manufacture these components on a respective workshop. Anyway, what happens? We issue work orders. So, normally, the, the budget grant is available in the stores in stocking house. Based on the requirement available in the stores in stocking house for the manufacturing components, necessary work order is in So workshop stores obviously is responsible for sending the, there is the associate workshop stores, the officer. He ensures that required 
components are kept in stock for the issue, for the issue in the online activities. Similarly, the manufacturing orders uh, for the uh, these items, store manufacturing, is having a mag, uh, having linkages between stores and stock from also workshop manufacturing suspense account. That is how the for the purpose of control, there is a work order register. So work order register is maintained in the, um, the accounts office as well as the uh, production control organization, the PCMA works manager. This register should provide the dates of commencement and completion. It's a review point. As an accounts officer, you will be seeing the that uh, there is no work order where expenditure is not continuously booked for three months. Which are nothing but indicating the pending, pending, is pending. So both departmental accounts officers are responsible for review of the work orders. So this is how a work order register looks like. Totally. So some points I gave with reference to before issue of work orders. In the case of the to save God life, we had also issued a work order for the conversion of passenger coaches into COVID-19 wards. This is an expenditure which is not related to our transportation business. It is not. They are converted this, this. And it means this expenditure has to be met by the, some other government department, maybe Department of uh, um, Health and Family will pay, pay the separate funds may come. But however, the expenditure has been incurred. As of now, we are incurring this expenditure and a separate work order is there for the <coughs> for these COVID, COVID coaches. But however, this is not our regular business. This point has to be taken into consideration as an accounts officer have to have necessarily watch the expenditure related to the conversion of armory coaches into COVID coaches. So we should not uh, put this expenditure to our ordinary VOHs or ordinary special repairs or collagen repairs. We should be very carefully dealt with. So we have to have necessarily see in the internal check that proper booking has been made, proper bookings have been made directly to the particular purpose. So as a matter of fact, on completion of the work orders, the uh, accounts officer is uh, directly responsible for chairing the completion and corrective, uh, corrective action of the regularities in booking of expenditure. So based on which we will be preparing, after completion of work orders, we will be preparing a workshop general summary of all items related to the work orders for which the completion is taking place. A WGR is prepared. The labor and material and other charges for the month related to each work order should be transferred to workshop general list. This is nothing but a summary of all work orders we can because it is the responsibility of the accounts officer to maintain this workshop general which is a review point. Review to today we have MIS under IMMS, WISE and IPAS, which three are related. Three are related in such a way it provides IT uh, provide facility for the management department under the MIS management department system so that uh, we complete the outer statement uh, very quickly. So now we also have advanced the closure of accounts. Previously we used to close the accounts by 21st of the following month, by 25th of the following week. Now we are normally we are closing the accounts by 5th of the following month. You are all aware. Our account to current also goes by 5th or 6th of the following month it goes. Thereby our uh, works are we, we are now the advantage of IT utility, combining the uh, all IT utilities under one platform and making the various authorities accountable in the transactions. This is the importance of the maintaining the workshop general register. So this is only for the purpose of showing the board workshop general register. And then the outer statement, outer statement has to be prepared by the workshop accounts officer monthly. This is prepared in parts. Part 1 is representing the works completed and the financial instruments have been completed within that month. You have to completely close the work orders for that period and you have to make the financial adjustment and the necessary revenue demands have to be operated and clearly workshop manufacturing is The part 1 outcome register represents the value of the works completed for which adjustments are yet to be made. That means the work in progress normally. The work in progress is reflected in the outer statement part 2. Because 
I am giving you explaining all these aspects uh, under the because all these aspects will formulate and go into the workshop manufacturing suspense account because the suspense account we are all aware we keep the whenever whenever we know the the final allocation to keep the expenditure to slot the expenditure temporarily for that purpose before giving it to the final heads we operate a suspense account so. The workshop out and register. Workshop out and register will formulate a basis for clearing the workshop manufacturing suspense account. And workshop out and register is prepared in two parts. Part one is representing the work completed, and the financial achievements have to be made and have to be have to be completed within that month, and there should not be an outstanding. And in the case of part two, this represents only the work. Any other outstanding item is a point of concern for both the accounts officer as well as the authority who is incurring the expenditure. So these are the parts of order statement part. So I just explain you how the statement part one and part two just a graphic model, a small pictogram. This part one adjustments to be carried with the same amount of accounts. Part two work in progress and complete books awaiting adjustment account. Out of statement has to be prepared by the. Workshop accounts officer for the activities collected in the through the workshop that are listed supported by the each work order analyzed separately. So this is how a performance is there. Now all these performance are now the machine is available in the machines. But however, there is no change in the system of depicting the expenditure. So it provides the direct charges, direct charges, these warrant expenses. Is including in case of production unit, there is a township board at also. There is a attached in case of ice and bamboo. You can see there you have a there is a colony for the staff who are working. So their expenditure also goes there. So for heads, everything and also performance cars which is to be levied for the works undertaken by the workshop or production unit for outside bodies is also to be collected. This is reflected in the workshop outcome statement. So. Now, for this purpose, for all these activities, we need an account. We need an account that is otherwise known as workshop manufacturing suspense account. This is a tool for performance. So now, coming back to the various basic documents, we are viewing this entire expenditure through an account known as workshop manufacturing suspense account. It is a tool for control over expenditure. Generally, we consider railways are not only a public enterprise, also a commercial enterprise. We need to see this way also. We have to view these the activities as a commercial enterprise. Cost incurred in workshop and activity during this cost of running the railways. For example, if you incur extravagant and huge expenditure on the part of this workshop, normally your operating ratio will go away. Ah. Thereby, you have to have a cost control system. So, workshop manufacturing suspense account provides this. So, it is therefore necessary to have a cost control expense credit in workshop. For this purpose, a suspense set up account, workshop manufacturing suspense account is needed. It is necessary. So, we cannot escape the workshop manufacturing suspense account in future also. Even there are accounting reforms. Is any kind of reforms? This. Is an agreeable and acceptable rules even on the international accounting standards. Even for the international accounting standards, this tool is required. Maybe some kind of additional uh, requirement. Maybe there may be additional inputs are required. So this is a necessary tool. Now look at it. Workshop manufacturing system. So now I will cut the new details. We normally from the accounting point of view, the There is an item known as inventory and balance sheet. That is normally known as by closing stock. This is a closing stock. The value closing stock is our value or market value, which are easy to find because we don't want to uh, inefficiencies being carried forward to the next following year. Thereby, so 7100, 7200, and 7300. These three are plan heads. One is. Given on the stock account, seventy-two hundred workshop manufacturing suspension account, 
7300 is miscellaneous advances capital account. We operate these accounts based on the expenditure incurred on the book value and all these three suspense accounts may be both debits and credits operated and merged with the what were the workshop accounts of his life, officers for their expenses and clearances from the business. So, 71 and so when we say suspense account, when we say plan head, plan head is nothing but infrastructure and there is a capital expenditure. When I say capital expenditure, it must have created their source fund. Source fund created from the government's account is nothing but capital. We have to use only capital. Because when we say capital, there is a bonus that is the responsibility of the RPS who incur the expenditure. They will be more careful while asking the funds under the capital. So this is important. So Paksha Manufacturing Suspense Account is an important tool for control over expenditure, which is watched through a plan head 7200, sourced by fund capital. So this is the, the, the expenditure recorded in this account and the piece of workshop is valued as per the value as per the book value here. So this account, what is the advantage of this account? This account will enable cost control and cost comparison among the activities undertaken in workshop. So cost comparison can be facilitated by comparing the activities of the previous period to this period as well this workshop to other workshops. And unit cost of the workshops based on which we can also see funds also. So, so much advantage is there for the purpose of operation of workshop manufacturing suspense account from manufacturing suspense. So, and I just gave you the brief of that. Please read this. This is for the examination point of view. So when you write, you must write this workshop manufacturing account in the capital suspense account. It is the progress B7200. It is a process of collecting, evaluating, analyzing and looking for charges for carrying out a work or a service in a workshop or production aid for the purpose of manufacturing and producing and assembling the rolling stock, rolling stock and components. So this is the important thing. Please all I have to read this and remember this forever. So that is the about the workshop manufacturing suspense account. Normally inputs, inputs means debits, we call debit side of the workshop manufacturing suspense, the cost of labor, the cost of material drawn, the cost of material purchased, the cost of the contractual payments that made for the operations and the contract purchase means that is purchased through non-stock model and various wallet expenditure related to electricity, water, sanitation, other charges, so many expenses are all the inputs to this workshop manufacturing suspension. The outputs are nothing but credits. The outputs are nothing but credits. So means the work done and for which completed work for work, completed works, we have to afford a credit to this account and clear it to the final heads, debit to the final heads and credit to the workshop In case of a deposit work, debit the deposit work, credit to the workshop manufacturing suspension account for the part of the work done. And then for the foreign railway, we have done the work, debit the transfers, foreign railway, and create the workshop manufacturing system. That means when we say inputs, that is debits and credits, it is the responsibility of the workshop accounts officer to see and view and do the job with reference to both debits and credits in a systematic way without any deviation to the rules related to the booking of expenditure and ensure proper clearance to the workshop manufacturing suspense account. Ensure proper clearance. I will just further analyze. I will further just to uh, very quickly analyze is debited with the total expenditure incurred on wages. Wages means pay and elements of artificial staff. Material means components and other materials drawn from stock to stock operations. Each shop wise draws. The document is just 1313 as the 
stores requisition come requisition issue issue note stores requisition come issue note that is known as direct purchase of materials it is made by the executive departments based on the non stock units for this we maintain a liability register against the grant available for that operating period we process non stock units and purchase the material and give it to the operation to study the activity and debit the expenditure to the part order accordingly the expenditure in getting to expenditure is collected similarly carriage inwards that is transportation cost electricity is cost material assistance for other other workshops now the expenses whatever it may be may be indirect expenditure which we not identify or all and in the cost to do debit to workshop manufacturing expense account now once the entire expenditure is put in a month as a debit to workshop manufacturing expense account what is happening we have responsible to clear the expenditure in a workshop out turn is measured month out turn targets are given to the executive officers to clear the out yes they complete the out turn so expenditure incurred in the month against activity taken up on account of plan head works for example i am rebuilding a coach i am recabling a loop which is a capital expenditure i am providing a bio toilet to the existing icf coaches rcf coaches which have died right like. so for that purpose what is happening i will be having fund provided in the separate plan head that is 2100 accordingly i will be completing the work and providing the debit to that particular plan head and in clearing the workshop manufacturing expenses now however this kind of a things the case of production is based on the completion of works the progressively this account can be cleared also and then components that are manufactured and sent to stock so workshop manufacturing expense account is credited stores in stock account is debited for the items and sent for the closed work orders for the manufactured components sent to the stores in stock account sir at the we will sending this entire thing we close the work order and send it to the entire expenditure we will debit to the stores in stock account and the work shop manufacturing suspense account so this is an important activity for the items debit to the capital the stores in stock account then revenue operations normally in a general railway workshops the much of the expenditure goes to the preventive maintenance that is the pace and maintenance of passenger coaching vehicles that is demand number 6 vehicles to arrive in about demand number 60 as to a demand post demand number 60 voh 230 230 like that so voh erosion repairs special repairs so all this is a revenue expenditure it is the responsibility of the workshop expenditure accounts office and show and show that after the jv on the revenue expenditure is completed in the month itself unless until after the jv is put the monthly accounts in a general revenue are not closed that is the importance of the after the jv stuff post but nowadays we have the petty utilities available but however it is the responsibility of the accounts office to see that after the jv towards revenue operations are done in that particular so accordingly the expenditure is available which is correlated with the fiscal outturn of the shops available under that voh how revenue demand is collected and put to the final heads of the revenue demands and then other government departments normally when we take up a work for the private bodies other government departments normally a detailed estimate is prepared then in advance we take the acceptance and the deposit account is collected and the deposit account is maintained in the workshop accounts office based on the completion of the work fiscal completion of work when we get an advice the closure of the work order against that particular activity we based on the actual expenditure available in the work order when we close the work shop work order then expenditure the actual expenditure met but that deposit account is debited and workshop manufacturing expense account is credited understood 
But however, the point here, when we need this, the point has to be kept in mind in such a way that when we need this, we have to act to perform on most charges. That means this is administer share of administrative expenses, that is interest and depreciation of the buildings and assets, all those things, are also additional charges. When I charge to the author, what happens? There is no we have to balance that element of performance cost as a debit entry to the workshop expenses as debit entry. So input cost is 100 rupees, 100 rupees. Performance cost is again 30 percent, 30 rupees it to be added. So a 30 rupees to the extent. So jet POC is a WMS account is debited. Jet earnings is credited to the extent of performance cost, which will become a charge to the WMS. Thereby, debt earnings, the amount collected, finally the debit goes to the deposit account and then the element of performance cost goes to the jet earnings. That is how the importance of operation of uh, the performance cost for the deposit works undertaken for other government departments or private bodies or the corporate bodies as the case may be. This is the most important aspect of the workshop manufacturing systems account operations. Normally when we say debit, when we say credit, <coughs> when it is a continuous activity in a systems account, normally they are bound to be a closing balance. The closing balance for this month, it automatically will become opening balance for the subsequent month or the subsequent year. But however, what is this closing balance part? Normally, you will find these three reasons. Work orders which are in progress and for company, but for which the grid is avoided. So, we have completed work orders, uh, progress and for complete ones, and for grid is avoided. Unaccepted debits, sometimes we raise the debits, but in the transaction it may not be a situation due to some document reasons. Um, Signing has not, that means the receiving accounting unit has not accepted the debits. And normally work in progress. And sometimes what happened, the, uh, there may be an undercharge with the option. So there may be accumulation of undercharge. So these may be, these are the four main reasons that and that may limit, that may have the impact on the closing balance. So as an accounts officer, as an accounts officer, while reviewing the workshop manufacturing systems account, we should ensure that only the actual work in progress part, work in progress part is only available in the closing balance, more so at the end of the year, more so at the end of the year. In case your closing balance is consisting of the expenditure or to have been to revenue which remained in the closing balance is not an acceptable situation. That means it is nothing but misclassification. As an accounts officer, we are answer of the thing. means the work completed for which the expenditure has to the uh, POH work has been completed and the, the vehicles are moved out of the workshop for which still the expenditure in the closing balance the WMS account is not an acceptable situation. Thereby, the accounts officer is responsible for that misclassification. Please remember this as section officers, as accounts officers, we are responsible for non-clearing of the workshop manufacturing systems account. Similarly, for non-settlement of transactions, similarly, non-raising of the debits, also similarly, for non-booking of the adjustments related to the other charges or more charges. So, it is so important that we must be very careful while watching the workshop manufacturing suspense account. So, with that, I give you, here in the South Central Bay, I give you a small example. Coaches, that is Lalabada, we have two workshops, Lalabada workshop and Viripati uh, shop, which does this UH operations. Normally, actual, uh, actual targeting physical units, uh, this can be analyzed in the physical targets also. In case, short of target, short of target means there is an indication that the expenditure also progressively to be regulated. Like that, we must analyze capacity, it means capacity utilization of workshop is not happening. Thereby, 
the on cost expenditure unit cost then when money shop on cost and jilla cost which are the payment cost they become higher and you have a situation where the label to clear the expenditure so these are the various aspects which see while watching the workshop manufacturing expense account and out of the shops here if you see uh, only almost uh, only engineering workshop did you got us only Shop. The entire, uh, only 20% of the capacity placing has to be placed. So, accounts officer is responsible to see that the actual expenditure in the budget, the WMS budget related to these activities, is in accordance with the outer, thereby we should not have any extravagance. So, these are all the important aspects by being the workshop, manufacturing, suspension. In the case of Ryan and shops, they have achieved up to 98% of the capacity. So still, they out of the way, that the, the, why they could not replace the targets also become part of the analysis of the workshop manufacturing suspense economy. Normally, we, we discuss these points as normal rule, as a general rule, that closing balance the premise are required to be kept at the 3% of the gross grades in the case of revenuers and 6% drop gains in the case of manufacturing works. We can analyze this is, this is a tolerable percentage. There is no rule that is like that the report has not given it, but it is a tolerable limit. It is a tolerable limit that can be accepted as well. As such, what is to be done from the accounts point of view? In the examination also, we have to see whether the materials and stores are drawn disproportionately as compared to normal requirements. This is to be analyzed. So, what is the part of accounts officer is to see that whether the materials and source are drawn disproportionately, whether it is on accordance with the outer or not, we have to see. For example, if you see the engineering workshop, there is only 20% of the work. In such case, if the material is drawn for the entire outer, they, they become unnecessarily sharp, no? They will be available only on the shop. That means WMS account is bearing that expense which is an order to be agreeable situation. Whether the progress of manufacturing of spares for stocking is as per the targets and should not result in accumulation in the business. That means, components which we are manufacturing should be consumed in that operating period. So, in case, for example, today, we are withdrawing slowly diesel locos in the system and replacing with the electric locos. So, okay, diesel loco components consumption should come down Based on that only, you have to have the work orders placed for the manufacturing of components in the diesel component workshop. So, these are all the aspects. Whether there is abnormal delay in closing in the work orders issued for spares and components and works done outside, so this is to be seen, the progress of the work is not done. Whether there is any delay in revision of average hourly, this is the responsibility of the accounts of these and all cost rates chargeable to work orders. If the revision is not taking, Currently, and the average rates are not updated. They are going to be a undercharge, so this is a point. Whether proper deposit is available for taking the works in workshop, in the case of jobs for private departments and parties, unless until deposit amount is made available with us, we cannot take up that and we cannot issue the work order. Then, unaccepted debits and charges by foreign railways and divisions and other government departments. These are all the, the few points when it comes to the Review of workshop manufacturing suspense account. Normally, when we say as a manager, so these are all the up to this, this is the review by the associate accounts officer. When it goes to FNC, a manager review takes place. Like that, how whether the capacity place of workshop is up to the mark, whether the deployment of steel labor at the replacement of manufacturing operations, service operations is according to the size, material drawn to software their consumption pattern. So, there is an issue here. The material draw to the shop go is not as for the consumption. It is a serious issue because in Indian railways, we take the issue to the shop floor is treated as consumption. Thereby, unnecessary shop floor drawals lead to the excess procurement of components. That means, you will be procuring more items from the market. So, your stock stock account budget also will go up. Will be way to do that. 
Sports. Identification of phantom of on cost is a person test to direct labor and to control the vortex of the chair. Identification of phantom of on cost as a person test to direct labor and to control the vortex of the chair. So this is how we have to have the WMS account. So if you see, the, I have given a small example here. The coaches, the same outturn, now look at the expenditure part, because in gross amount based. Here in this case, uh, a, the closing balances, the closing balance in a, a Tirupati workshop, you see. So the, the outturn is 100%. If you see the closing balance in terms of percentage, there is 21.35 close closing balance in Tirupati workshop. This is an indication that there is an additional excess shop withdrawals. Definitely, there is a shop, excess shop This is not an acceptable situation. Or maybe some kind of accountal issues. Similarly, in the case of engineering workshops, uh, yes, though the, there is less capacity, but there is closing balance they have maintained less than 2%. That means the indication they have regulated the software draws based on the outturn. Like that, then we have to have the analyze the expenses. In the case of early joint and the pandemic plant, we have a higher closing balance, which is 15%. It's not an agreeable situation. Because of the last metallic plant, much of the item is service component. So, in case, in such cases, why the material draw is more? Or why it is Similarly, in the vacuum workshop, vacuum product, you see, the closing balance is again higher. It's an indication of 61% closing balance. Indication that means there may be combined and combined parameter, combined issues like not able to raise the debits to one part of railways, not able to pay expenditure to the home railway for want of funds, and extra additional trial of material to the shop floor, or there may be some of the items which are reclaimed and sent to the workshop benefit suspense account. Thereby they are lying in the balance. So these are all the uh, points. Please here look at these panels and also look at the coaches at Tirupati. So when we see the outer, the physical outer, one kind of picture is coming. When we correlate this workshop manufacturing suspense account with the outer, uh, the picture is totally different. So in the case of right working karma car, there is a minus balance, which is an indication that you have not put the proper debits to the account. So there is a electrical shop which is also, there is no proper booking to the debit side is not correctly done. Rates have been correctly done by the accounts officer, but thereby there is no proper booking. So that is how shop manufacturing systems account gives a very good analysis on the what is happening on the ground of the uh, booking of the expenditure. What are the various causes that are leading? So this, based on this, it can be viewed, it leads to this classification. It leads to here in the case of the wagons, if you see 61%, 18.82 crores prevailing in the closing balance for the entire grid subsidy crores, indication that the expenditure ought to have been to revenue or foreign railways is available, made, have continued in the closing balance, which is not a agreeable situation. So that is how this leads to misclassification of expenditure among the revenue and capital expenditure and also defects in budgeting. So many conclusions can be drawn and can be understood and thereby it's a wonderful tool, wonderful expenditure tool for the work, by the workshop, for the workshop accounts officer by operation of workshop manufacturing assessments. So, work done to revenue operations, what is to be done? I gave demand number six, how to correlate and the, how the work done, I just gave this analysis. And then with reference to components on account of expenditure on equipment and plant, because here, they, if there is a wrong expenditure between the uh, work out related to tools and uh, maintenance of plant and machinery and also the maintenance of uh, carriage and wagons, then this should not happen. So, it should be very carefully dealt for the expenditure and begin. There should be an operation of proper right-back work orders for the each activities dealt under this demands the 
revenue expenditure could provide for the home rent. So similarly, not that the contributions, special works are to be dealt very carefully. So what what analysis gives? Then the what what cost comparison activities are facilitated facilitated by this through this what what manufacturing. the premise account so cost comparison for various activities and also for the periods so it also gives the in the case of low food of late in 2016 rolling stock food has come for which there is a revised cost system has been used for the purpose of control over expenditure for the low food rate for low food rate so in that information on average cost of poh ioh for each class of food average unit cost of all only for each identified major assembly so this can be dealt so cost comparison is more facilitated please all of you uh, refer to the rolling stock report which has come up to from 2016 onwards which gives the revised costing models revised costing models for the uh, under the various sectors expenditure uh, activities means shop wise we can revise the costing system by the case the repair cost here yeah, rcs means revised costing system revised costing system by the case the repair cost of basic cost element variable cost elements cost of high value items cost of high value items that means we are trying to understand to have a reengineering of this oh cost by way of must change items items of expenditure related to age comp condition item of items of expenditure related to the high value space so these three can be dealt in the we can be dealt in the revised costing system which has come for the repair of locomotives this is for the purpose of locomotives and be done in future also for the carriages also wherever the lhp which is of come up late that is how the importance of the it can be Uh, the total cost that is high value item very big cost can be so workshop manufacturing and the workshop material information the blmas is going to be there the mis system as a mis under revised costing system for locomotives so uh, now the, the procedure and the systems adopted in the workshop are getting refined from time to time then cost center wise collecting the cost here the importance of this activity will give us the additional responsibility to identify the cost of present we are not doing in the repair model the general railway workshops for carriages and wagons identify the cost shop wise that is cost center wise cost center wise shop wise and comparative cost are going to be the tomorrow's thing so when you write the examination this point become most valid So, friends, I will close the my topic, and I will invite you the questions. Please, all of you. Please, all of you. Um, please come, come on to this and put me questions on this last fifteen minutes. I will take questions from all of you. Uh, how can do uh, clearance of wms how can how can do clearance of wms yeah continuously by if you want to you make a out of statement you make a out of statement and then from the part of out of statement compare the digital out of the works in the work or part of the workshop that you register what to make clear the jeans how to make the information for the man machine that they submitted so from the year how the gb can be made and how the gb in i pass we can make final changes so the system is made available so we can clear only thing is the response the owner of the shop account of the service finally it is completely out of statement part one of that particular Okay. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please, sir. Sir, why the 
Hello. Uh, ah, sir. Why the uh, costing of job in different workshop is different, sir? Although they are working in the same Indian railway, why the costing is different, sir? You need cost? Uh, no difference in costing. There is no difference in costing system. The revised costing system, which has some revised costing system, which has some quality. Rolling stock, huh? But the glucose is there available. As such, there is no difference in the standard shaking for school of activities, all those objects. Thereby, what is happening? There is no system of cooking, there is no change in system of cooking expenditure, and also there is no system of system is standard, system is uniform. So there should be okay, uniform for all Indian railways, sir. Yes, it is uniform only, there is no change that way. Then, but yeah. in our railway, sir, there are three workshops in there, and the uh, uh, job passing course is different in all the three workshops, sir. Why? Yes, sir. See, job passing system, there is no change in the job passing system between different by any general railway for that particular. Component that you undertake. Of course, thing is what is the process? Make a kind of decision. See the procedure step. Procedure already is uniform in all the other railways. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, WMS review review ka points. Sir, yes, sir. WMS review points is. I gave you the three slides for the development review points. Yes, the point is to see that whether the material drawn to software is disproportionate. Yes. The paper drawn to the company average and the rates of non-cost percentage is like that. Sir, we may get the PDF only, sir. Our to our topic. Okay, the next presentation share the ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सर ठीक है स्ट्रेन सर पर फॉर्म ऑन कॉस्ट कर रहे हैं बट एट लीस्ट ये ये व्हाट आइटम्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस व्हाट आइटम्स व्हाट आइटम्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस सुपरिटेंडेंट या डिटेलिंग और स्पेशलिस्ट का स्टाफ इज रिलेटेड टू जनरल सुपरिटेंडेंट सर्विसेज व्हिच एक्सपेंडिचर इज इंक्लूडेड इन Demand number three of the service department, like a business department, house department, service department, and share of the general manager expenditure of the management, and share of the other activities like hospitals, schools, and share of the general manager's expenses and pension that is granted to the members of the organization staff, which is was not a direct charge for the other operations. Pension and gratuity, these are the other things that we have. Our overall charge of the so interesting depreciation of the various assets related to other activities. These are all the various items under the budget. Under the form of cost, this is general administrative expenses. This is under the general administrative expenses. Now, blue is the difference. Can you use for the MAR register and SBA register? Emphasis. The blue man MS register. Can you use for MAR register and SBA register? No, this is the same process. That is a different type of suspense. But some time you can use for different type of accounting. Different scientific accounting tool. This is for the purpose of watching the expenditure to a work order. Whereas in MAR. You will have items transaction by the items are covered in the MAR. Whereas in work orders, we have we have a system of watching the expenditure, collecting the expenditure to element wise. So this is an excellent thing. So MAR operations, clearance of MAR is different. The clearance of the premise is different. Even if you don't clear MAR, nothing is going to happen. But unless in a workshop manufacturing system, it's bound. Where is the first thing to offer is convenience. You are bound to, you are bound to close the problems of the monthly. Okay, unless until the bottom JV is good. Unless the bottom is, what you are not clear. What you are you not clear? What you are not clear? Not clear. Violating. Or why is it violating? 
Okay, sir. Sir, my uh, my name is displaying in the screen. He is Rajan Kumar Pramani. R L Pal, Ravindra Lal Pal. So that I want to uh, give the pin back. Uh, it will be uh, run.
that is uh, only unit cost of assembly, unit cost of logo, then total cost of logo. Yes. So these are the three parts of costing. Yes. Okay. But now I want to know that uh, basically uh, initial skills that uh, who are the indirect workers?
the speaker, uh, the topic is PAMS, that is Stack Accounts Management System. The speaker is Mr. Narasimha Rao, Senior AFA, Central Railway, Mumbai. Mr. Narasimha Rao will join Sitara web, uh, web from Mumbai, please. So all are requested to log in at 11, 11 o'clock. The session will start as usual at 11.30 hours. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, Sundar. I don't know that I missed that. We are anyhow sharing it in various groups and also in the instant room, so no problem, sir. And next time, give me another opportunity so that I don't want to disappoint that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, sir. Recording stopped.